Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda, and I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado, and this is another one of my photography talks. Thanks for being here. So today I want to talk about gear, specifically the beautiful Rolleiflex. This camera was engineered, German engineering, beautifully made, and the thing about it is, you know, people will say, well, it doesn't matter what you shoot on film or digital, but it does matter. And it's not because one is better than the other, but there's a, a compositional difference between using an electronic screen and looking down into a ground glass, like you do on a Rolleiflex. I don't know how to explain it other than when you point it at things, they take on a different feeling than on an electronic viewfinder. And you just have to use one to see it. But it does feel like the medium makes something that might not be all that important of a photograph a little bit more important. This camera is a old 3F, 35F, which is a pretty desirable one. But somebody said that uh, in a repair shop, they said that somebody has like kind of messed with it over the years and it doesn't quite focus to infinity and I say well I typically don't shoot at infinity I typically shoot close-ups I typically shoot people and I'm trying to shoot things that are you know I don't shoot a lot of landscapes I'm not a, I'm a people guy so they would say repair it I say just use it and it works great and like I said it's one of those treats to use because when you look through it the image that forms on that ground glass is completely different than looking through a viewfinder or looking through an electronic screen and you compose in that viewfinder and for me you know maybe the medium does matter maybe putting it on film gives it a little bit more importance and maybe it's just my own experience maybe if I put some links in the comments below you'll say oh I don't see any point of any of those photographs and then that's a valid opinion of yours and that's the kind of thing that you know I know what film does for me and shooting this camera does for me the other beauty of it is, is, look how small it is. It doesn't weigh a ton. It's small. The negative is a 6x6 negative. It's like this camera is as small as possible to record as big of a negative as possible. Just like the Leica we talk about, you can buy these. This one's a little bit, you know, rougher shape. You can buy these and whatever you pay for it, as long as you don't overpay, you can get it back. And they're a treat to use. A lot of times they're ready to go. If they work when you're testing them out, they'll keep working. So don't pay for repairs. Don't pay for cleaning, lubing, and adjustments. Try it first. It may be fine. This one might need a good overhaul to get it to exactly focus at infinity, but if I stop down to F16, can I get it? And if I'm shooting things that are within eight feet, am I fine? It seems like they have been. So there's a good example of don't put money into repairs that may not be needed, put that money into film and go shoot some more. I love the Rolleiflex. It's a, it's a big favorite of mine and I'd be interested to hear what you're shooting with. Do you find the experience of looking at a ground glass, especially at waist level, different than shooting through a viewfinder? Because I know I do. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll bring you some more of these soon. Thanks.